Hi, I'm Ken Shorley. I'm a percussionist from Canada. This is an introductory video on how to play shakers. Now, shakers are one of the instruments that I love the most and uh, one of the instruments that I have the most of. So what I've done for this video series is to bring different types. We'll talk about the different types of shakers, and then we'll go over basic techniques for these different types. All right, let's start out with this. This is uh, a cylinder. Generically, you would call this a tube shaker. But basically, this is an overall type which can include the humble egg. It can include other shapes. This one here is a wooden shaker. It's more like a, more like a puck or even a box. And even this type, which is a, a bean pod. The thing that ties all of these different shapes together is that there is a container, some sort of container, and inside all of the shaky material is there, whether they're seeds or metal ball bearings. These are all, I, I would call them the same type of shaker. We could call them a cylinder or a container. This type of shaker is similar to the container, but it has a handle on it. So it's the same, the same basic principle. There's shaky material inside a container, and then it's attached to a handle. This one also could be considered a maraca, a type of maraca. This has a woven basket and attached to a wooden handle. This next type is special. It's one of my favorite types of shakers. This is called kashishi, and you will find kashishi in West African music and in Brazilian music, and now lots of fusion music. This is a woven basket. This is a single basket and a double basket. They come in different shapes, even like this. What's special is that there is a soft sound by playing on the side of the shaker, and then on the end, you'll see a piece of gourd. So you get a hard, sharp sound. So the playing techniques that are possible on kashishi are slightly different than on other shakers. The last type is different than any of these other types. All the other types I've shown you have, for lack of a technical term, the shaky stuff inside. This is the opposite. The shaky material itself is free and makes the sound by striking itself. In this case, there are small nutshells that have been threaded onto rope, and then the whole thing is attached to a handle. This other freeform shaker has goat's toenails, essentially, uh, which have been stitched onto a fabric band. 